Picture this. You're fairly new to Unreal Engine 5, but you're following along a tutorial on YouTube. It's going pretty well so far. There's stuff that's familiar to you. Variables like booleans and floats and the like like that. We're even using custom events, which I learned in the last video. But then all of a sudden, pulls out one of these things he called an array. Doesn't look too intimidating, but we'll see what he does here. Then he gets a node like this. A get node! But it's got, it looks all intimidating. It's got those nine boxes in there and, but I mean, it's just a get node, right? So it should be the same as the other ones. So shouldn't be too big of a deal. Then the next thing he pulls out, set array element. What the hell's that? Random, find, last index. It's okay, it's okay. I'm sure the tutorial will go through in exquisite detail what all of these do. That's the neat part is they don't usually do that. I remember being brand new and going through this exact phase where someone pulled out an array and had all these nodes and I'm like, this is, this is too much, super complicated for me, can't do it. Uh, so in this video, we're going to look at arrays and what all these array nodes do and just kind of go into detail and use a couple of examples of when you would actually use some of these array nodes. And my name's Taken Grace. I make Unreal Engine tutorials and videos just like this one. So if you are uh, looking to become a better game dev with me, uh, hit down the head down there and hit the subscribe button and like the video here. Uh, and let's get straight into uh, some of these array nodes. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a different video than normal. Uh, we are going to be looking at uh, arrays, uh, just like the nodes themselves here. And so they're in here, here they are. Uh, and we'll just kind of go through this uh, as easily as we can. Um, don't need to follow along in this video, it's just specifically for uh, a learning experience here for people who are looking for more information on arrays or don't know what arrays are. So, uh, all right, so this node here uh, is, you will probably would have encountered by this point, and this is where we make an array. Uh, very common in uh, the line trace, uh, the line trace thing where it says actors to ignore, you'll drag out of there and make array. And the actors you want to ignore generally are like your player, so you'll hit, we're in our player now, so you'll hit self. Uh, if you're holding a weapon, you'll pull that out and do your weapon, you'll make an array. So what an array is, it's essentially a list uh, of items that are stored in one variable. Okay, so any one of these variables over here can become an array. You just click on it and then you're gonna come over here to variable type and there's this little pill here and you're gonna select array. So that just converts it to something that can hold uh, multiple values in one single array or one single uh, variable. So, uh, so yeah, the make array uh, is pretty common throughout the engine. So you'll use that quite a bit. Uh, the one thing that I got confused about a lot when I was doing arrays for the first time is the index. And I just like, what does that mean? How is that even incorporated in anything? And it was just super, um, su super frustrating that I had, had to figure that out uh, for myself because it wasn't really ever explained. Um, but basically the, the index is the, basically its position on the list inside the array. So you'll see that this is index zero. So it's referencing this particular um, array index. And same thing with this. So if I put in index one, then it's going to be referencing this one and two and three, et cetera, et cetera. You get the point. Uh, where this is handy, uh, I'm going to use my inventory system as an example. Um, so let's go into uh, event graph here. Oh, this is the event graph, sorry. Uh, so the inventory size. So in this particular node, the resize node, I'm telling my game how big I want my inventory size. So um, Integers are obviously what are used for indexes because it's a whole number. So uh, in my player character, in my inventory, I've told it I want my inventory to be 24 slots big. So in my inventory system, on the event begin play, this is where we're telling this inventory system how big we want it. So we're going to resize it to be 24 slots. Okay, so now I have an inventory system and if I have specific items in that inventory system, then uh, if I just open this up here. Uh, so here's my 24 inventory slots. Each one of these slots has a specific index number that it, I want to reference if I want to reference specific items. So I'll just go pick up a couple more items here just to, just to be able to use, just to show you guys some stuff. If you want to create this inventory system, I do have a series up here on YouTube that shows you all this kind of stuff. Um, okay, so uh, here's all my systems here. So this is the first one in the array. So this is index zero. There's the programming joke where if you want to go pick up ladies, you tell them to meet you at the restaurant and go to the first table. And if they don't go to table zero, then they're not the one. 
it's a programming joke. Uh, <laughs> so uh, anyways, this is table zero, or sorry, index zero, and then index one, index two, index whatever. So uh, so I've, I've scripted in here, so if I wanna use this potion, for example, I'm gonna write, uh, or I'm gonna click on it, I get my little drop bar, use item, drop item, all that kind of stuff. So I've already clicked on it and I've pulled that index. This would be index, uh, pardon me, this would be uh, slot four in my inventory. So I've already told the game, hey, we're talking about slot number four, which has this potion in it. So now my game knows what item we're talking about and we can do specific things with this item. So I use this item, obviously I'm gonna gain health um, and uh, et cetera, right? So uh, that's what the indexes are used for, is stuff like that. Uh, let's get my thing back over here. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's uh, a good explanation, I think, of what the indexes are and how they can be used. Um, anyways, so we're going to move on here. I'll, obviously, the get node is going to be getting this specific index number from the array. And then we're, when we drag out of here, that's, that's what we're referencing. We're ever referencing that exact one. So right now, that's slot zero. So I'd be referencing this slot. And I can access all the variables uh, from that slot. Okay, so now we have two nodes here, add and add unique. Uh, so uh, the example I want to show you actually is inside my uh, HUD class here. I'm just going to open that up for you guys. HUD class. We're going to go to... It is down here. Here we go. Um, all right, so over here, this uh, this particular script, uh, what we're doing is I created a second array for my inventory slot because obviously I have... Uh, 24 inventory slots, but only one of them is filled right now. And that script is for the quick use item right up here. The, uh, whoop, this guy right up here. Um, so if I cycle through it right now, I, I don't go anywhere because I only have one item that I can, I can actually use. So this particular array is pulling out all of the, uh, slots that don't have anything in them and then only putting stuff that I can use in here, um, for that one specific quick use item thing. Uh, so the clear node is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to clear this array from any anything that's in it. Um, and then I'm getting my inventory. And in this for each loop, which we'll talk about in a second, I'm uh, going through each item in this content uh, from my array. And we're checking to see if it, ha if it has none as the name. If it has none as the name, there's nothing in it, and it's going to skip it. If it does have something in it, which is what this is checking for then we're going to add it. So we're going to add it to our inventory. And uh, so that new item, so this element array, uh, is going to be added to the this, uh, this uh, array here. And it's going to add it in sequential order. So it'll be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, if I had an add unique here instead, so let's just do this for an example. So I'm going to walk up here. I got two pieces of wood here. Okay. I'm going to pick up the wood. And now that wood's in my inventory, because there was 100 wood there. Um, but if I had add unique there, if I were to pick up this wood, it would not add it to my inventory, because it's going to check that array and see if this particular item is already in that array. And if it is, it's going to skip it. So uh, I did see somebody on the forum a uh, few weeks ago that was trying to add... Uh, weapons to an, to an inventory array or something like that and they couldn't figure out uh, how to do basically what I just said is don't add duplicate items into the inventory and that's that's the node you want uh, to use instead it would be the uh, add unique okay so that's what that does okay set element array again in my inventory system if we go to uh, add to stack here uh, here's where I'm using this so this is just going to basically update an item in an array without removing or adding it. Okay, so uh, obviously uh, for this one, for the add to stack, uh, what I'm doing here is we're first we're checking if there's an inventory slot available, and if there is a slot, um, then uh, or pardon me, there's a we're checking to see if there's a slot that already has this specific item in there, and then if it does, it's going to come to add to stack, and you can see that we've uh, in here uh, we're doing another for each loop. We're grabbing the index of our inventory. So what slot is uh, that item in? And then back to here, we come into add to stack. That index gets plugged into here so we know exactly which item in our inventory that we're updating. So we're using the index here once again to get that specific item in here and updating it. So that's what the set array element uh, node does. 
um, we're gonna go back to the player here. Uh, remove index is pretty obvious. It's going to remove the index, but the trick with this one is when it removes the index, it also completely removes that slot from the index or from the array altogether. So in my inventory here, this is a good example. Uh, if I go to remove from inventory, remove from inventory. So I'm removing an item from an inventory, whether I'm dropping it or using it or whatever the case is specifically here. Uh, we are checking if the if uh, the item is equal to zero. So if there's no more items left, then that's true. We're gonna remove this index from the array, but now my inventory size is 23 and not 24. So in that case, I would need to do resize and then tell it, hey, add that extra slot back in. Uh, so it's not gonna replace any of your items. It's just gonna double check that the uh, actual size of this array is back to 24. Okay. Um, all right, so that's the end of that row. Uh, there's just a couple other ones that are useful and you'll see them uh, a little bit um, a little bit less frequently, but they are definitely used. Uh, is empty, I use in my HUD class inside of my, oh, where is it here? Uh, down here. All right, get next item. So uh, this is where I, in my, uh, when I'm using my quick use item stuff. Oh, here, I'll just pick up some stuff just to show you. Okay, we got stuff in there. Now I'm going to cycle through them. And um, basically, it's getting my next item in my inventory. You can just see I have three different woods. That's why it's taking a bit for the wood to cycle through. But um, anyways, yeah, you can cycle through the previous and the next item through here. So that's what this particular script is doing. Uh, but in here, I check, is this array empty? Because uh, if it's empty, then there's no point in us running this code, right? So... Um, and then if it is empty, I have it up here setting it to, uh, so if I just play it one more time, use both of my potions here, it's going to show you that there's nothing there and I can't cycle through anything and nothing works because, uh, the array is empty. So that's what you would use that for. Uh, is last index. So in that same example here, um, my next item. So if you go to your next item and it's the last one in your array, it's not gonna work because you're at the last uh, index is what that is called. You're at the last spot in that array. So it's not gonna go to the next item. So in this particular uh, code, I've told it, told it to uh, check, hey, are we on the last index? And if we are, set the, my other index to zero. So it basically loops back to the beginning. Uh, so that's where you can use stuff like last index. You can check that kind of stuff. Uh, another area that I've used last index is in the add to inventory right at the bottom. So if it's gotten to this point, I've checked to see if there's any slots with matching items and there's not. Um, and then I've checked to see if there's any more empty slots available and there's not. So at this point we're double checking, hey, is the length of this array the same as my inventory size? And if it is, that means that we have all of our slots filled and we have no slots left and my inventory is full. So that is where I've used this length um, example. Okay, random is pretty self-explanatory. Like one one good thing for random here. So we, if we like play, play sound 2D and uh, drag this out and make array or pardon me, sorry, I'll drag this out, promote this to a variable, and then we'll change this sound to a array. Change variable type, yeah, 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 sure. Okay, so uh, obviously this doesn't work anymore because it's an array, so we're gonna break that. Um, this sound array, you can come up here, compile the blueprint, and now you can stick a bunch of sounds in here. Uh, so we'll just do, I think there's bullet hits here, or bandage, sure, we're healing and we're doing different bandage sounds. Okay, and uh, then out of there, we're gonna drag and get a random array item and then plug that in here. So now every time you heal, it's gonna get a random sound from this array uh, that you uh, have already set. So that's a good uh, good one for random. Um, you can also set this up. You can do random sound inside uh, a sound queue, but you know that's just one way you could do it if you wanted. Uh, length, I just talked about inside the uh, inventory system where we're getting the length is just the same as inventory size, blah, blah, blah. Uh, shuffle, this reshuffles all the array items inside there. Uh, could be useful for something like a little mini game where you're like doing the whole like cup, ball on a cup thing and you shuffle them around and then you have inventory like, uh, sorry, array zero, one or two. And then you have the ball in one of those inventory slots so you can shuffle them around so that it's randomized a bit. Be a good use for that. 
Um, okay, so this uh, for each loop and for each loop with break. Um, obviously this is going, this is probably, you're probably most familiar with this if you've seen arrays before and you haven't you really used any of these other ones. Um, but anyways, this for each loop is going to take the array. We'll zoom out just to get this make array. And it's going to execute this loop body for every index in the array. So uh, if you have stuff going on here, it's gonna run zero and then uh, the array element at that point will be zero and the array index will be zero. So um, this is the, when you're running the loop body, you, these things belong to whatever um, spot or index spot in the array. So uh, that's where I have ba back in this inventory system. Uh, pardon me, not inventory system, the uh, HUD class here. So if I go back to item management and it was in this one here. So here in this for each loop, uh, we're grabbing each one of our content items and then this is spot zero. So that'd be my potion and we're setting these just so we can reference them later over here. But um, yeah, so then you're over here. The new item at that point would be spot number zero, which is my potion and that's adding being added to my inventory. Then it's gonna run spot zero. It's gonna see that there's nothing in there um, and then it's gonna run false because there's nothing in there, so. Uh, okay, so that's how that works uh, for the for each loop. The for each loop with a break, um, basically you're gonna run this uh, as per normal with the for each loop, but um, if you plug into this break, it's gonna break if you find something um, and then run out of completed after that, I believe. So um, I don't use this one too much, but uh, yeah, it definitely has its uses, that's for sure. All right, the last one I'll show you here, this is a compare node, uh, so equals equals for two arrays. Um, you can use this, for example, we'll just make an array here, make array, uh, we'll do times two. So let's just pretend, for example, like you're on a quest and they're like, hey, I need, I need a, a stick. We'll just make this a string. Make little literal string, we'll just call a stick. A uh, stick and make literal string. Stone, we'll just, we'll just use those as an example. So, um, all right, so we'll say that the quest is requ requiring that you get a stick and a stone for the quest items for you to complete this quest. So um, when you have added it to uh, this array, it's gonna double check and see if you have been, uh, if this matches. So if this doesn't match, obviously this is gonna return false and you haven't completed the quest yet. Uh, but if it does match, then obviously it'll return true. And that's just a, a one way you can use this equals equals node. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, so hopefully this video was slightly helpful for you guys just to understand arrays and like what these nodes do and where you can use them. Uh, again, not generally like most of my videos that I make, but I just thought it'd be helpful to show you guys what these arrays can do. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions, definitely comment down below and ask some more questions here. Um, and, uh, if this video sucks, give it a thumbs down and I won't make any more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, make sure you subscribe for more Unreal Engine tutorials, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.